It's a whole new look, or at least a way to look at your iMac. I'm Dan Ackerman, and this is Apple's 21.5 inch iMac with a 4K Retina display. Uh, that's the most obvious change to this year's 21 inch iMac. The physical design has actually stayed the same for the last couple of years. Uh, still very slim here on the side, kind of bows out gently in the back, all the components obviously behind the screen. But this is not exactly the same 4K as let's say your 4K TV. Uh, that's a consumer version and it's usually 3840 pixels wide. Uh, this is true 4K 4096 pixels wide, uh, more of a professional format. Also telling us that this is a system designed to appeal to photo and film professionals. It supports a wider P3 color gamut as opposed to regular RGB. What that basically means is uh, there's a wider range of reds and greens that the screen can display. Uh, blues are actually already fairly maxed out. Uh, a lot of consumer equipment just is not going to show you that. Uh, you'll never really notice unless you're very into very high-end photography and professional photo equipment or you're shooting you know, 4K video or super high-end film. One of the coolest other upgrades to the system is the new set of accessories you can get with it. Uh, the, by default, it comes with the keyboard and the mouse. You can also sub in the new trackpad, although that now costs extra. You used to be able to swap them in for the same amount, although uh, it's certainly much nicer, and you can see why it would cost a little bit more. Uh, first up is a magic keyboard. Uh, all the accessories no longer use disposable batteries. They're rechargeable. You just plug in a lightning cable, and that recharges them and pairs them. So you can see there's no more little kind of bulbous battery compartment anymore. Key faces are a little bit bigger, although the actual uh, footprint of the keyboard is smaller. Uh, the mouse looks and feels pretty much exactly the same. There's some new rubber runners on the bottom, again, rechargeable. And the big star here, I think, is the Magic Trackpad 2. You can see it's much, much bigger than the original version. Also, no battery, so you lose that cylindrical battery compartment, recharges via lightning, and it adds force touch, which means you can click and then click again, uh, even though you're not actually clicking as a form of haptic feedback, just like force touch on the MacBook, the MacBook Pro, and even uh, the new iPhone and the Apple Watch. Uh, if you want to give your current iMac a kind of facelift without getting the new one, you can actually buy all these separately and just add them to your current system. Uh, speaking of being current, this guy moves up one step in processes. It used to have Intel's fourth generation you know, Core series processors, perfectly fine. It's moving up to the fifth generation. However, we're already up to the sixth generation now. Uh, you can find those in the 27-inch versions. The 21-inch versions are still a generation behind. If you've got an iMac from the last couple years, it's still fine. You really don't have a compelling reason to upgrade. Uh, if you're working with a lot of 4K video or super high-res photography, and you're looking for a great baseline system that's not going to cost a fortune, you can get the 4K screen starting at $14.99. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is Apple's new 4K 21.5-inch iMac.